Life uh, finds a way, as a great kind of scientist once said, but what gets lost in the shuffle, if you will, is that life truly finds a way even when we don't realize it. Humanity likes to think we know about everything that goes on in the world, but many of the creatures of this world Well, there are plenty that are so rare, you'd swear you just found a new species. <coughs> so from an eastern sandfish to the Amur leopard and more, here are 20 rarest animals in the world. Number 20. Eastern Sandfish the eastern sandfish actually isn't a fish at all, rather it's a kind of lizard that's also known as a sandfish skink. A truly interesting name if there ever was one. You'll be a millionaire if you find this animal. It's seen in Arabia, Sahara, and North African deserts, which would explain why it's rare in terms of being known about by many outsiders. Because if you haven't noticed, people like to stay away from deserts and for obvious reasons. Now, given Given that it is a lizard, you might find it odd that it's called a sandfish. Well, there's a reason for that, because this particular lizard is one that's very adept at swimming through sand. Yes, it does really swim in the sands of the deserts, kind of like a fish does in water and with relative ease. So it is a sandfish, because it's like a fish that swims in the sand. Isn't the world wonderful? As if that's not enough, the eastern sandfish is one that's able to camouflage itself within the sandy terrain of the deserts that it lives in so that predators can't actually touch it. Clearly, this is an animal that has a lot of tricks up its sleeve. And not surprisingly, the eastern sandfish is one that uses burrows in the sand to live and survive. Which makes sense, as the burrows would allow them to not only hide from predators, but to stay away from the desert sun and all the heat and sometimes the cold that can be brought down on it. Life in the desert is always something to marvel at, and this creature is a perfect example. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Amur Leopard there are many big cats in the world, and their endangered nature depends on the species, especially when it comes to how humanity affects them, not only in terms of hunting them down, but also hurting their habitats and thus making it difficult for them to live. A big cat that is a victim of this, and as such is dying out, is the Amur leopard. If you're thinking that they live alongside other big cats in places like Africa, well, you'd be wrong. However, they do reside in Russia and China, of all places. And as I forewarned, the people of China and Russia are to blame for the population of this particular leopard going from thousands to simply dozens. First, their lands were destroyed by the native population, and then they were hunted to near extinction because of their fur. What's equally as depressing is the fact that we could very literally count how many there are still alive, showing just how bad things have gotten for this creature. For example, in 2015 there were said to be just 60 of them left, if not fewer. Fast forward a few years to 2019 and the population size is now around 90, meaning that in just four years they've only maintained a steady increase of about 30. That's not really all that good. What's more, they may not even be in China anymore. All of this points to a death of the species coming very soon should things not change as they're very much critically endangered. And that would be a crime as these are very special leopards. To lose them from our world would be a big loss indeed. Number 18. Pangolin Sometimes an animal is rare not just because of what's going on with its population, but what the animal's like as a whole. The case in point is the pangolin. Most of you probably wouldn't recognize this creature based solely upon its name, but if you looked at it, it's pretty hard to forget. This is an armored creature of our world, of which there is no other one like it. It's 
Seriously, just look at the creature. It seems like it's one that has a literal suit of armor plating built around it, and yet it moves like it's nothing. Getting into specifics, that shell is made of keratin, which is the same stuff that's in your hair, your claws, hooves, antlers, and more. And while certain mammals have shells or hardened skinned, like turtles and crabs, it's nothing like the pangolins. This armor shell is something that's very easily protected from predators because it'd have to be completely and incredibly strong to even think about being damaged. And as for why this is such a rare creature outside of its looks, it's all partially because of its looks. You see, the pangolin is so unique looking that it's become a creature that's trafficked in the illegal pet trade, which is much bigger than you might imagine. Due to that fact, the population of the pangolin is heavily affected, and add to all of that, people poach them for both their meat and access to their armored scales. As of January of 2020, there are just eight species of pangolin whose conservation status is listed in the threatened tier, so unless things change, this armored creature isn't going to be around much longer. Number 17. Seneca White Deer Another rare creature due mainly to its looks, it's one that was technically bred to live both naturally and with human assistance. You see, in the world today, there are animals that have a disease called albinism, which means that they lack certain pigments in their bodies, and thus their fur, or skin in the case of humans, becomes an unnatural white. It's a true disease, as it hurts the animals that have it. However, in the case of the Seneca white deer, it's a completely different story, because they're a herd of deer living in a protected area of New York that are known for their white fur that happened naturally. That's right, this white fur from the deer were due to some recessive genes that were at first come upon naturally via reproduction of the deer, and then when people realized how rare they were, they wanted to grow their population, so that's when they did some selective breeding to help ensure that even more white deer were created. The deer population has since grown to about 700, with approximately 300 of them being white, making it the largest herd of white deer in the world. World. And again, it's all because of genetics. Ironically, at one time this herd was treated like any other deer species, meaning that they were allowed to be hunted in order to control their population. But then the army, which originally did the hunting, stopped in order to protect the species. But unfortunately now, the place where they live isn't as protected as it was before, and development might take the land away. And as such, the deer are more in danger than they've ever been. Number 16. The Elephant Shrew Now there's a name you wouldn't really think goes together, as elephants are some of the hugest creatures in the entire world, and shrews, well, they're known for being quite small. So what is the deal? Well, it doesn't have anything to do with their size, I can tell you that much, as this is still an animal of small stature. However, the elephant shrew is one that has a very long nose of sorts that makes it resemble the massive creature that we know, and thus it got its fused name. But wait, there's more, because after some research into the animal, it was found that they actually aren't true shrews, rather they look like shrews in part, but are honestly more tied to the elephant species. I bet you probably wouldn't have guessed that upon first sight. That's not the only thing that's unique about this animal, though. They are widely distributed across the southern part of Africa, and although common nowhere, can be found in almost any type of habitat. Anywhere from the desert to boulder-strewn outcrops in South Africa to its thick forests. Now, just think about that for a second. This is an animal that's common nowhere. Have you ever heard of such one being defined like that? It's kind of weird. And here, you have another reason to not just learn about animals, but also to allow them to keep on living. Because if a creature like this can exist, despite it seeming so basic, what else is out there for us to learn? Number 15. Thai Liger 
now for something that's truly rare for one basic reason, and that would be breeding. Now, chances are you've heard of the bred creature known as the liger. It's pretty much my favorite animal. It's like a lion and a tiger mixed. It's bred for its skills and magic. The results of breeding the lion and the tiger together are quite large, as the child grows to be much bigger than the parents. I'm talking over 12 feet long at times, weighing hundreds of pounds, and yet they're able to run with the best of them. It's both awesome and it's scary. However, with this new animal comes new possibilities. And of what, you may ask? Well, to make new animals via its DNA. As such, one particular zoo would decide to breed a liger with a tiger, and thus was born the Thai liger. Which is a terrible name, but I'll give it a pass this time. But only this time. And of course, the Thai Liger is one of the most rare animals on the planet. Now at one point in time, there was just exactly one of these creatures in a zoo, and only about 10 in the animal world at large. That might seem a little low to you, but trust me, there is a reason. Because while there are a few different cats that you can breed together to make a kind of Thai Liger, it's not as easy easy as it looks. Most hybrids would not be perpetuated in the wild as males are usually infertile, and also because the territories of the parental species don't exactly overlap. So thus, we wouldn't be surprised if you had not heard of the Thai Liger before. Just as important though is that while we do know the species exists in certain metrics, we don't really know a whole lot about it. The ones that have been found are said to be quite healthy despite some of them being infertile as mentioned before. Plus, like the Liger, the Thai Liger are said to be very large, big cats. Number 14. Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat Wombats, unlike the previous entry, are very well known to the world for various reasons. Some sports teams are even named after them at times. But for the northern hairy-nosed wombat that you'll find in Australia, we have a little bit of a different story. Because this is a very rare type of wombat, even though it didn't start out that way in the wild. Its historical range extends across New South Wales, Victoria, and Queensland as recently as 100 years ago, which usually is a good indication that a species is not only far-reaching but also long-lasting. But then, various elements conspired to seriously hinder the movements and population of this particular wombat, and no, it wasn't only humans that did them in. Rather, it was various species of wild dogs that hunted them down to critically low numbers. The Epping Forest National Park in Queensland, Australia is where you'll find the northern hairy-nosed wombat now. It was a spot that was brought forth by the government in order to help protect the species and allow them to breed and flourish. They did this in 2002 and made sure that predators couldn't get in. By the time that they did, the wombats were only about 113 strong, with only about a third of them being females that could actually breed. However, with protection and help, as of 2021, they're now at 300 strong. And to be clear, it is still labeled as one of the rare rarest and most in danger animals in the world, but at the very least, they have a chance to bounce back. Number 13. Yangtze Finless Porpoise now sadly, if I were to try to classify a type of animal that regularly faces low numbers and possible extinction due to human interference, it wouldn't be the land animals like elephants and rhinos, though those would be a very close second. Rather, I'm talking about aquatic animals. A great example of this is the Yangtze finless porpoise, which despite its looks is not a dolphin, but rather a toothed whale. Now trust me, it will make sense. They live in the Yangtze River in China. China, and like certain other species, including dolphins, they are in danger of dying out because of how humans treat the river and them. The river has a high traffic rate of human activity which causes population declines due to things like illegal fishing, pollution, vessel traffic, and dam construction. What makes this particularly sad is that you could argue that these are normal activities for humans in terms of fishing and making dams and having boats going through, and if it was just that in normal amounts, these creatures would likely get by fine, except as typical is with water. 
humans tend to go overboard, pun intended, and as such the illegal fishing and vast pollution have hurt the porpoise to where they may only be about a thousand left. And while that is high in regards to the previous entry, it's honestly rather low for a water species, especially when you consider that they're in a river for a habitat. The Chinese government and others have stepped up to try to help the dolphins, so at the very least, there is that. Number 12. Saulo. Some out there might question the terms of what it means to be a rare animal of the world. Well, there will be no question about this one. In Vietnam and Laos, there's a creature that's so rare that it has been viewed in the wild only a handful of times and only gotten pictures of once or twice. The last one of which was back in 2013. It's called the Saulo, and they're known as the Asian Unicorn because of how rarely they're spotted. The first trace of a Saulo would be found in Vietnam via an oddly shaped skull, then a few sightings of the creature would lead to the finding of the new species. It had very odd markings and it looked to be a fusion of various kinds of animals that are found in the area. But what may be the most strange part of it all is that we roughly know where it is, we can never seem to find it more than a few times. As such, the information on the Saulo is limited and speculative at best. Now, well, there were some that were captured and put into captivity, but the twist there is that they didn't last very long. They actually died within a few weeks or even months of being caught, which shows that they are creatures that need the wilds of the world in order to survive. Add to that, because of how much they avoid humanity, they're actually a critically endangered species due to how we're cutting down their habitats without really knowing that it is their habitat. So if we don't learn more about them quickly, they could die out before we truly know anything about them at all. Number 11. Hector's Dolphin Hector's dolphin is a species of dolphin that you can find off the coast of New Zealand and is named after Sir James Hector, who first discovered the species and apparently wanted to name it after himself. I mean, I'll try not to judge because my pet guinea pig's name is Twinkle and hopefully she wasn't discovered by someone whose name was Twinkle. That would be weird. What makes this species so rare is its size. They're the smallest dolphin species in the world today. They don't even reach five and a half feet in length and sometimes don't even make it to four feet, which is pretty small for a dolphin. What hurts them the most though is where they live, because they reside off of the coasts and only go about 300 feet deep into the murky coastal waters. They're also known for being ones that like to be near the surface, and as such they get spotted by humans for better and for worse. Because there's a lot of fishing that occurs in those areas, and the dolphins get caught up in the nets and can't escape, typically dying via suffocation. Thankfully though, Though some restrictions have been put into place, but they still need to be monitored or else they'll risk losing the special species as a whole. Number 10. Borneo Pygmy Elephant now it may surprise you that it's taken me this long to get to a rare elephant species, but it's all about picking the right spot. Such as with the Borneo Pygmy Elephant. This is known as a pygmy because it's smaller than many African elephants or even Asian elephants of the world, but make no mistake, they're still big and heavy and they could kill you if they wanted to. Not unlike other elephants, the Borneo Pygmy Elephant's one that has a certain range to it, and at one point in time that range was very confined. But as things opened up, they began to roam around a bit more, and people even put trackers on some females in order to see where they get around. They found that sometimes they roam up to 230 square miles. The preeminent threats to the elephant today are, of course, habitat loss, degradation, and fragmentation, which are all driven by an expanding human population and lead in turn to increasing conflicts between humans and elephants when the elephants eat or trample upon their crops. Now, believe it or not, hundreds of these elephants are killed every year just because of interactions with humans, and over the last 75 years, the population has dropped by over 50%. Number 9. Black Spotted Couscous 
Up next, we have the black spotted couscous, and sadly, it's yet another creature that's been labeled as critically endangered due to its small population size. So, why have you likely never seen or heard of this one outside of that? Well, it's simple because it only resides in New Guinea. Just as bad as that humans are hunting it down, and combined with deforestation of its natural habitats, it makes it even harder for the creature to live. Which, to be clear, this isn't the only species that's being hurt in New Guinea due to habitat destruction. These creatures are very special in terms of their look, with their multicolored fur and their special eyes. In fact, they're an animal that's put on stamps because of their looks, and when you look at the pictures of them on the stamp, you would think that they might be fake. However, it is very, very real. The black spotted couscous is a tree dweller most of the time. They will find a spot in the trees on high branches and just relax there during the day, getting even more active at night, but still, they only rarely ever touch the ground. Equally as interesting, they enjoy being alone. They won't even mingle with other couscouses if approached most of the time. Number 8. Purple Frog Let's think about this one for a moment. I wonder what exactly in the world could make this creature so rare. Could it be that it's a frog? Well, no. Could it be that it's purple? Well, you probably had a hard time guessing that one, didn't you? Just as curious is that while the frog was officially labeled back in 2003, there were plenty of people who documented a such frog in the local area, and the people of India, where it lives, knew about it already. So clearly somebody wasn't paying any attention, or they just wanted to get the credit. Either way works in this situation. But it's not only rare because of its color, it's also because of its body type. This is a frog that honestly looks bloated, but that works in their favor as it helps them to fight currents when they're underwater. Just equally as odd is that the frog only surfaces during a monsoon. But why? Well, that's so that it can mate. Could you imagine mating in the middle of a monsoon? Wow. Number 7. The Hispaniolan Solnodon this is a creature that's likely one you've never heard of, and part of that reason is because of its location. Because it's only found on the Caribbean island of Hispaniola. What's more, when it was first discovered in 1833, nobody really knew what to make of it, and it wasn't until 1907 that anyone found out more. Because of how rare it is, it's a creature that's believed to be extinct more than once, which includes 1964. However, things did eventually begin to turn in its favor, and it eventually went from the endangered list to the least concern, as its population numbers would grow and people knew where to find it. Number 6. The Philippine Eagle the Philippine eagle is very much endangered. In fact, it's yet another animal that's been labeled as critically endangered due to what it faces. Which is interesting, not only because there are only two eagle species that are larger than it, but it's also the national bird of the Philippines. so you would think that they've done more sooner to try and protect it. Now, as you may have expected, the reason for the drop in its population was that of deforestation, limiting what the eagle can do in terms of habitat. And just as interesting, though, is that if a person was to kill this eagle, they would face time in prison. If every animal was protected with such laws, we might have a lot less endangered creatures. I'm just saying. Number 5. The Bornean Orangutan The Bornean Orangutan is a primate that is very close to extinction. The species can be found on the island of Borneo, and they've actually populated that area for a great deal of time. Yet, despite all of that, their population numbers are frightening, as they've been falling since the 1950s. In fact, a study on the Bornean orangutan revealed that the population of the species has dropped by 60% since the 1950s, and it's believed that it could be another 22% drop by the year 2025. <laughs> 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 
Most animals can't survive that kind of drop, but to be fair, there are still thousands of these orangutans around, but their habitats are slowly being encroached upon, and as a result, they're dying out. So much so that some scientists actually believe that if nothing major is done about it, then in about 20 years, they'll all be extinct. Which would be a huge loss, as the Bornean orangutan is said to have 97% as the same DNA of humans. Number 4. The Cross River Gorilla now we'll keep going with the monkey business. The Cross River Gorilla is another species that is critically endangered, partially because they're restricted to the forested hills and mountains of the Cameroon-Nigeria border region at the headwaters of the Cross River, hence the name for the gorilla itself. Because of their isolation from other species, other groups are literally hundreds of miles away, they cannot breed and grow their population. Estimates from 2014 would suggest that fewer than 250 mature Cross River gorillas remain, making them the world's rarest great ape. Now, if you want further proof of how rare the gorilla is, it wasn't until 2009 that one was caught on camera. And just think about that. Equally as shocking is that between the years of 1995 and 2010, their population plummeted close to 60%. And since humans are majorly responsible for this, the gorillas fear human contact, hence why they may be seen so rarely. Number 3. Hawksbill Sea Turtle The Hawksbill Sea Turtle is, sadly, a species of turtle that is, as you guessed, critically endangered, and the reason why would be its shell. You see, turtle shells have been collected by many people over the years for a whole lot of reasons, which includes many tribal customs, but these days they're also used for decorations, and as such, a massive swath of fishing has been done for the Hawksbill Sea Turtle with no regards of how it was going to hurt their population numbers. In fact, it got so bad that the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species outlaws the capture and trade of Hawksbill Sea Turtles and the products that are derived from them. Over the past 135 years, it's estimated that 80% of its population has been done away with, and this is especially bad as the turtles have very slow reproductive rates. Number 2. Vaquita now, if you recall a previous porpoise, you'd find that the vaquita would be very welcome company due to this aquatic creature's size. On average, it only weighs about 95 pounds, and at most, it's barely 5 feet long. It's also the world's most rare aquatic animal. You'll find this creature near the Gulf of California, and they tend to bunch together in order to help one another get food, which is part of the problem, because overfishing in their habitats has not only killed a bunch of their population, but has also also made it so that they can't get the food they need in order to survive. As of late February of 2021, there are only an estimated 10 vaquita left in the world, and some say that the species may never recover. Number 1. Giant Otter Now, it's not only an otter, but it's a giant otter. Yes, they do exist, and they are impressive to look at, that is, if you can find one. The giant otter can be over 5 feet in length, and they like to be together in families as they go about their day, thus making them a very social animal. Because of where they live, places like Brazil, they're constantly hunted for their pelts and the oils that their bodies produce. During a period of time, the giant otter was killed by the thousands every year for their pelts, and what's more, because of their size and how they live in rivers and other bodies of water, fishermen view them as a nuisance and nothing more, and simply kill them just to get them out of the way. And because of that, they've become a very endangered species. That's all from the realm of rare animals that live in the world. Were you amazed at some of them that I listed today? And how many of these animals did you actually know about before the video? Do you know of any other rare animals that could have easily fit on this list? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool things popping up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.